people basically are saying that things like design engineering is going to, you know, um, grow even further. It has been already growing slowly because companies and design organizations needed to invest in the design systems. So you kind of need to assure the quality. With the likes of Figma further developing their features, the blurring lines between front-end engineering, design systems, designers or managers, and the actual UXers prototyping are blurring and they come together to form these better UX organizations. So as such, design engineer, I think is going to pursue is, but I'm going to tell you exactly why. So if you walk back long enough, we had this UX UI world where there are two different hats the people in UX wore. A person who would look into the detail and the actual UI design, plus someone who's more strategic from the user needs perspective or can do more research or architect things better, forms this duo of unstoppable force. And the teams I managed and worked in as an IC back in the day who had those two, at least, you know, on paper, we might have been both UX designers or UX UI designers, but had certain like strengths and if they would to come together, like the projects would just glow. And then they were accompanied by a project manager, let's say, and the business analyst as well, which was typical back in the day. And of course, engineers, which don't really change much. And in between that and what we have today, we had this UX world, the gold rush of UX, surfing this never stopping wave of lucrative roles, growing demand for UX, and a lot of space to still challenge the business perspectives and people who don't know what UX is about. It never was easy, but still there was a lot more roles, so a lot more demand. And if we skip to now, the quote unquote post UX world is we have product designer, which really a lot of the people who were specializing in UI design went into product design. There is still some UX design, which is do it all basically, or it depends which company you're part of, they're skinned differently. Sometimes if you take the like Google openings, they're all saying UX design. Even if let's say some people there do research or product design, it's still like a one big row. Some startups are going to split research and product design and so forth. It varies massively, but you still have that kind of like a majority of people dropping in, in, in these buckets. And of course, user researcher, which has been booming, is going to grow further, I think, for a while. And just because a lot of the PMs, the product managers are learning to a wireframe or learning to UX. And you probably notice that a lot of them have this requirement that you should have a good grasp of UX to do product management. Even the I saw the roles for technical product management, the backend product or AI product management, and it stated that you have to have a fundamental UX understanding. And as such, this UX designer then becomes a, a, a a hybrid of course product managers do much more but just so you understand why like like why the shift is happening is because a lot of activities are being shared and this is important principle which i want to highlight none of the roles none of the disciplines are being truly automated or will be ever truly automated it's just the tasks the activities the tools are going to change how we perform those jobs and that's borrowing almost that jobs to be done framework which you should know about anyways but it's understanding who is doing what and why and then basically shifting the methods of how we are doing those things in order to improve users' life, let's say. So if we take the meta perspective, us doing UX, you know, it's still going to remain. It's just those roles going to shift. If you kind of go back a step, you know, there are different roles doing similar stuff. Don't you think that with AI, the UX, UI and product designers will combine into a new role like design engineer? Yeah, that's what I'm getting at. And that's perfect segue happening already again, as I said, with design systems and the proximity between the actual front end engineering design systems and product design. Those are becoming basically same team teams and the best product designers can code already or understand enough of how to code basic HTML, CSS, JavaScript. It's it's unarguable. Like you, if you understand web technologies and you can, let's say, use Framer, Webflow or WordPress or just code it yourself, you're going to be much you know, ahead than anyone else, because at the minimum, you're going to know how to talk to the engineers. That always has been the case. You're going to see that the actual front end engineers make a lot of those product design decisions. And we always have been let's see the best ideas usually come from experimentation or the best UI interaction design ideas, let's put it straight, are going to come from actual engineers pushing the boundaries 
and, and taking it a notch further. The worst thing is when the engineers just implement what designer says without kind of trying to push because designers know enough, but they might not know the different web technologies or what else could be done. And as such, the things are shared, the dynamics are shifting, and that's why design engineers are gonna pick up the speed. The product designers, and engineers again budding up as a twin skill set's gonna form these new structures of design engineers. Again, it's happening if you take UX engineer roles. That has been the first signal that this is gonna come. The number of the roles, though, is questionable. And if someone is saying, oh, everybody's gonna be a design engineer, I'm not thinking in terms of the timeframes because the tomorrow or the near future is definitely not gonna be the case. It's just that the demand for that skill set or capability is definitely increasing, but at what pace is to be seen? And I would just be bullshitting you if I would say, oh, it's gonna happen like immediately or like this is the case. It's, you cannot predict that. What you can predict though is that the UX designer is still gonna persist like the need for the ux design or those skill sets are still going to persist and maybe going to be shared across the board and especially if the design engineering is going to increase ultimately if we zoom out basically so if tomorrow we have a lot of design engineers and some product designers some user researchers we still have someone who does ux design some engineering some product management i see that a lot of those roles still gonna fall into these bigger buckets and the, when i say the future this is far future this is basically either full or partially full automation which means that the human involvement is minimal it means that ai models can can teach other AI models and shape other AI models. Or AI model like ChatGPT would be able to write code for another AI model and publish it. So it means basically closer to the AGI. In that case, the design engineers are gonna be quite irrelevant in a way, because someone who's gonna be in the seat of the control, gonna be able to use basically automation mechanical torques for a, for, a, for a lack of better term, which are gonna basically be modding the model and AI is gonna be making itself with the input of the humans. So the human would bring a human need and they're gonna basically be uh, creating different models. As such, the design engineers, product designer, user researchers are gonna be consumed with that automated production. And this is very long term. This is saying like 20 years in advance, basically. Therefore, those actors, those roles are just gonna be vanishing. The role which is gonna definitely come into place, and I'm not gonna take and say that this is exactly how it's gonna be sounding or the label is gonna persist. It's gonna be something like human experience manager. <laughs> Maybe there's gonna be a better marketing slogan, which is just, you know, uh, rolls off a tongue easier, but human experience manager is gonna be that person who literally engages with the automated production model or a AI counterpart and telling them what the needs are of a person. If you even would go further than that, you wouldn't even need the human experience manager. But imagine if there is a model which every other person uses. Let's say it's a future Apple device, right? And the Apple iPhone has some sort of app which tracks health data or something along those lines. If they're smart enough, they're already considering to implement the models which could track the data, A-B test data, they would roll out A-B test, they would basically track a lot of those data signals and the behavioral data, exactly what the people do, and learn from it. And uh, you know, use the actual heavy processing and AI models to learn from it and shape it. And as such, the actual product or the experience could adapt by the model itself. It's not gonna even need a human counterpart because there is already a Petri dish which exists and if you put enough signals and the models are free to shape themselves, the humans are out of the pictures. The humans are only going to be served. The only thing is the quality, but quality also could be improved and locked in through enough generations. 10, 20, 30, 50, 100 years, Apple could be run by AI with no people involved. Again, corresponding to market signals, financial data, every other role completed. But this is the long-term kind of um, notion and view. If we pull back to, again, design engineers, on the Design Squad community, the other day I saw the opening, and why the other day is like last month or so. <laughs> um, but the opening was, um, we're seeking product designers, and I'm paraphrasing, but it was in terms of we're seeking product designers to design stuff on Figma. We're gonna track what we do and uh, in, in part train the AI models of what decisions we make 
and we're going to basically say, okay, this designer did this, that, that. You know, you can capture enough signals and then train those models. So it's already happening. And us investing heavily in combining the product design, UI design, or design systems with engineering, it might sound like it's growing in terms of a demand and the roles, and we're going to need more people to do it. It's not the case. If anything, we're going to need less people basically to focus. That's why the combined design engineer role and the role of a person who can produce good enough code, a good enough output with some heuristical UX thinking or some understanding or, or just knows enough patterns to combine them is, is a clear signal of what's basically coming. As you consolidate those things, you create these champions, and I'm gonna know this is a philosophical note, but you create these champions who basically are perfect seedlings for AI. They are the ones whose decision is gonna be captured the most, and then you know the models are gonna be trained up. I think the most important thing to follow up on that is for everyone to take a look at this live stream, which is basically the roadmap to complete UX automation and AI uh, UX. And this is where I outline basically of when and what sort of AI you can expect and across what type of uh, time frame, roughly speaking.